Hello everybody, good buddy Q here, here for something I've been so excited about for a long time, oh my god. So, Hawkeye, Hawkeye, you may be wondering, well, what the fuck is this? What, what, what am I looking at, you say in a China accent for some reason. Well, this is chapter zero. Uh, my friend Lubo, uh, they actually made a prequel to Dreamtalia. Oh my god. Well, it's not full. Like it says in there, it's preview. This ain't available for public download or nothing. It's just a preview via, via this. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is the first game they ever made, and it's like, oh my god. Like, even though, like, it is Dreamtalia, I don't know much about it, actually. Like, I know basics, but I don't really know what they put in it. So, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Hell yeah. So, again, this is a preview, not a demo. It just shows what's to come, I guess. That's what they said. Yeah. And stuff and stuff. Oh yeah, and there's gonna be flashing lights and stuff. So people with absolutely warnings, be warned. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. I've been. I'm. I'm. I'm ex so excited. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, a warning. Because this is a very, very, very special thing. I have not done this in so long. I am going to be doing some voice effects, like reverb and stuff like that. So if if it seems odd, I apologize. But. <laughs> I just want this to be special, but I'm not going to do it very often. Just as, like, emphasis on stuff. Like, really supernatural shit. Because I fucking love doing that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all my warnings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we go! <laughs> I'm excited. I have not practiced! Shit. I probably should have. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Chapter Zero Preview. I'm Lubo, the creator of this game. Hey! Preview plays more like a visual novel and is exclusive to Kyokyo's channel. That's me. Uh, Kyokyo 866 is like the username I use everything else. Kyokun is this. But the full release of the game will be available to the public at large. This is my very first coding project, so I hope you enjoy it. However, since I want to ensure the safety of all viewers out there, this game comes with a couple of warnings. The dialogue of certain characters is color coded for clarification's sake. There's World, Frausherev, Magician, Judgment, and Lovers. All are separate colors. non arcana text is not colored. There was something I was gonna say. Oh yeah! Even though this is a prequel, just like Send to Siberia, watch the first game first or else you're not gonna get any of this. So, there's gonna be a link in the description about that. Yeah. This game contains flashing colored lights, blood, intense music, and some less than savory sound effects. And if you are sensitive to flashing lights or have epilepsy, ep 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 epilepsy please be careful. If you are sensitive to certain sound effects like heavy white coughing and splatter or intense music, please be careful. These warnings might seem excessive, but I want to cover my bases. Sit back and enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy it! Sorry. I'm very, uh, excitable. Ooh. Hello? Vanya? Hello? Vanya? Can you hear me? You never open your eyes anymore. I know. I know it hurts, Vanya, but it's gonna be okay. Just let the little lark help, eh? This was never supposed to happen. It started out so nicely. <gasps> I don't understand how everything could go so horribly wrong, so fast. I did everything right. Right? No, no Vanya, <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to feel bad. It's my turn to take care of you. It'll be okay. I'll make everything perfect again. The baby, is that you? I promise. To make everything better. And I don't break my promises. At least, not to you. This isn't very nice, is it? Why won't you look at me anymore, Vanya? Vanya! Don't be silly, Vanya! It's not polite to look away when someone's talking to you! You don't... 
look me in the eye anymore. Please wake up. I miss you. I miss you. What did I do wrong? The day when I looked at the mirror, what did I do wrong? What did I do, Vanya? How did... How did it all go wrong? From the very, very start, I did my best for you from the very beginning. Oh my god! This is the baby! This is the baby! Hello! Hello! Alright! The meeting is going to be today. You like me, right? What's wrong with me? I shouldn't be this nervous! Of course you like me! Oh, what's not to like? I mean, he looks as lonely as I am. Ivan Mikolovich Azarov. Wait, no! Vanya! Things will be different this time. I feel it! In my bones! Oh, there it goes. Um, something else, now that I'm here. Um, this game is supposed to be the host before Italy, so it's basically how- Again, the host before Italy. Yes. Anywho. So, okay, we are- Oh. Morning, old man. Good morning, chal- I can never fucking pronounce his name! Shit! Uh, Sakalin. That's how it's pronounced now. Sakalin. 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 Chukupka. And what the morning it was. Up at four this morning on train by six. Stopped twice by cattle on the rails. And no breakfast! You thought he'd be fi he'd feed us something other than the very basics? Really, Chuvka? Chu Chuvak? That's. Suck. F fucking names. Yes, I would have expected. I would have expected it. Fucking, I'm, I'm not on point today. Well, at least I would have fed you if I had to drag you out from our corners of Russia. Would expect the same hospitality from him. Particularly because this was supposed to be an interregional meeting. So much work to be done. And yet no breakfast? Breakfast? Feh. Our hotel had gingerbread cookies waiting for us. <laughs> Rude. Roll the R's. Yeah, well, he's boss. We put up our shut up. Would you like me to try to speak to him on this matter? If you wish to try, I will not stop you. It's been re he's been really stressed today, lately. What is it? But if you want to, then it's your funeral. Good luck, Chuvak. I have a few minutes before the meeting starts. Might as well put it to good use. Yeah, son. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Hello. Ooh. Literature. Let's see. Who on earth can read Gladelic anymore? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You. Go, old man, go. <sighs> there was a time where I forgot what fresh fruit tasted like. Om nom. Not now. Why? Let's drink. No, no. They still haven't repaired the cracking in the plaster. Granted, the dead bombs are still in the basement, and no one has removed them, removed those yet. I'm gonna be shaky on this. You guys know me. Like, I'm gonna be really shaky with the voices at first, but I'll get it eventually. I just started. Hold on. I'm moving on. What we got? Nothing. 
Oh, well, chairs. One of the few chairs with cushions in the meeting hall. Too bad Yvonne set them. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I should have probably been reading in his voice. One of the few chairs with cushions in the entire meeting hall. Too bad Devon sat in them already. They've been crushed completely flat. Lol. Rude. What we got? A picture of a woman posing with bales of wheat, looking stoically into the distance. Ages yellowed the edges. Edges, ages, whatever. Like with the swarm they release new material every year. Someone's getting lazy. Who this? Quite possibly the ugliest painting of Lenin known to man. Lol. What we got? The itinerary for the day. Someone has scribbled Belarus eats pace across the bottom. Read it! Hour one, proper etiquette regarding to dating. Subnote, this is not does not include Prussian. Subnote two, do not take your date out in a tank. Hour two, cursing quietly. Subnote, this does not include Prussians or two sh or shadows in the mirror. Lol. Hour three, Coca-Cola and you. Subnote, it's poisonous. Subnote two, send it to the Germans instead. Lunch slot four, lunch break. Subnote, do not allow anyone to steal your lunch or sell your lunches for, for profit. Hour five, maintaining an economy while pretending not to have economy. Subnote, bosses are not to be informed of this. Hour six, posture for posturing. Subnote, Prussians are not included. Subnote two, smiling to confuse Americans. Hour seven, economy. Nothing will happen if we just talk about the economy. Hour 8. Derailing the hug train. Deflecting American praise, criticisms, and ideals. Subnote does not include the English. Hug train! I do what I want! And nothing's bad. A sign in chief for today's interregional meeting. Muscovy. Sign in sheet. Required for anyone for attending. Nowhere close to a full house today. Sakhalin, Chikutka, Karelia. Move, Guru! Oh, there's the baby! Hey, baby! <sighs> what, Muscovy? Muscovy? Ah, 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 Vanya? I have not been Muscovy for centuries. It is Russia, Vanya. We are not doing this today, Muscovy. Russia! I am Russia! Ivan, could we not? Repeat after me, Vanya. You might pick it up. <laughs> Evil. I swear, on the morning sun. I am Russia now, not Moscovy, nor Moscow, nor otherwise. That came out almost French. What the fuck? <laughs> Your fake Moscovite accent says otherwise. Someone's bitter this morning. Did you sign in, Moscovy? No, I did not, Novgorod. How unfortunate. Please, do correct this minor issue. Bruh. If you do not get that clipboard out of my chest, I cannot say for certain where I may end up. Then sign the damn thing! Stubborn old ass. Talking a little, little box of matchsticks, aren't you? Not too sure about that. You burnt pretty well, too, you know. You crass little. Take that clipboard out of my... Have you lost what is left of your mind, old man? <coughs> take that, boy! The devil take you, Novgorod! Pull that hand back or I will bite it! You northern brute! Ah! My knees! What? Wouldn't want to be breaking a hip, old man! You cannot handle me when I was young, what makes you think you can now? I will show you, matchstick! You cannot show me anything but... Arteriopurosis. Rude! You northern swamp crawling! Fight! 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 Nerd! Nerd fight! Nerd fight! Nerd fight! Hello! We're here for the fight! Whoops. Silence. <laughs> Feeling energized after that, Novgorod? Ivan, you dick. Sign in before I brain you, Vanya. Who needs to sign in? 
Old man Vanya's gonna whip Russia's ass! Go, man! Kick his ass! Mm! Quiet. Sign papers, please! Probably would be best, yes. Better. Boysies! Life could have done better. Hello. Well, so be it. Roklo, all of you know the drill by now. Grelia. Here! Don't shit. Yes, I see that. Mamansk. Good morning, Vanya. Good morning to you too. Did you sleep well? My hotel room was situated right next to the train station. Did you get the gingerbread too? What they're saying about the gingerbread is, fun fact, um, basically having a host uh, give their guests gingerbread is a um, passive aggressive way to say get the fuck out. So, <laughs> not a very good sign there. Y y Yvonne's being rude. How did you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. Tver. Present. Ah, Tver. Yes. I'm so sorry for my lack of Russian accents. It's hard to have everyone do the same accent without just not. Did you remember to eat breakfast this morning? Oh, for God's sake. You used to skip breakfast. It's legitimate question. Yes, I did. In 1280. Just asking. You already know I'm here. Why bother asking? Think of it this way. This guarantees witnesses of your attendance when you want to collect your transportation home. And the man at the window pretends he can't find your tickets. I suppose so. Sakhalin. What am I saying? I already know you are here. <laughs> Sakhalin's um, located right next to Japan. Like, right next to it. That's why he got a curl. Cur Kurgan. Hi. Kurgan. Make my job easy, Kurgan. Please. Good enough. Are we done here, Chuvak? Yes, let's go. We waste enough time here. Let me go, big whoosh. Late fall. Meeting room A9. This is ridiculous. Moscovy. How many times have I asked you not to call me that? The last time I cared about your opinion was when? What is your question, Novgorod? What have we been waiting several hours for? I've been awake since 3 this morning. Mm, that is my problem. How? It was your choice to live so far from civilization. <laughs> Gentlemen, I don't think we should... The last time I le lived near civilization, you burned my house down. I believe it the Han did that for more often. Recently than I did. <laughs> Your ability to hold the grudge is incredible. Missing the molt in my eye for the log in yours, Moskva. Bashing my head into brick walls would be more productive pastime. Ladies, you're both pretty. Please, neither of you are contributing much to the conversation. It is not my fault he is being a bitter old ass. Sal's here. Do you intend to make a purse for me? Throw that bl hot air, I will try for a blimp first. You are trying my patience, Novgorod. My name is... It's a phone. <gasps> That's a neat phone! Shit! Who was phone? For goodness sake, pick it up! Is this bothering you, Novgorod? Pick up the damn phone, Briginsky! Don't be pushing with me, Karelia, or you'll go back to Sweden. Hello? Mm -hmm. huh? Seven. Who, who 
is it? <sighs> yes. Yes, of course. He looks worried. For his own skin or for someone else's? Oh, Vanya! Shh! You give him so much leeway, Malchik. I see. You stay there then. I'll come check on you tomorrow. Rest easy. Goodbye. Who was that? Everyone go home. Meeting adjourned. What? Why? We accomplished nothing. More like we accomplish anything at these meetings anyhow. Shh. Rude. Shh. Tiberi, you're with me. You, you get me. Dare I ask why we waited hours wasting time in this cold meter room, Muscovy? Wait for your drink too much. Litva says the poor boy is too long over to attend. We were waiting for your ex. Well, how else would we have tea? <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Shit. I'm dying. Those coupons provided for your travel home will not find the way into their pockets on their own. Shoo, shoo. Save travels. Are you serious? Ah. Go again. We're still getting a drink, right? If you're buying. There you go. Oh, you cheap ass. I could have done something productive with my morning. What a load of... <sighs> Another morning wasted. No point in griping. Best get my coat on. There you go. Bye bye. Hey, here we are. Just us. Hey, people. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. Jim. Good morning, Vanya. Or at least what's good as left of a morning can be. Good morning to you too, Momonsk. Have you been well? Keeping your hat on? When the wind isn't stealing my hat, yes. Good, good. Keeping warm too? A man your age should. I do not look that old. For you to be fussing of over wish I cover my head or not. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course not. I don't believe you. <sighs> yes. I'm just worried about you. Quite a few of us are, Vanya. You get so sick so easily now, and your hair is graying so fast. Enough. Please. I am very much aware of my shortcomings, Mamansk. Do not worry your sweet little head about it. All things right themselves in the end. Sorry about that, Vanya. I'll try not to. Good girl. Keep your chin up, hm? I will do my best. Cute. Why are you staring at that lamp? I want to talk to you. Hello. You look stunning today, Bezerov. I do? You must have stretched the leather on your face before coming out today. It looks very nice. <sighs> Charming. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> what was this meeting supposed to be about, anyhow? Among other things, taxes. Taxes. They are not technically taxes. They are called something else. They are just simply taxes wearing a new suit. <sighs> the party. The party. Should I even bother asking him about the gingerbread in the hotel rooms? Well, I said I would. Moscovy. Not this again. This is not on my behalf. Hold your complaints behind your teeth if you would. What is this gingerbread business? And terrible hotel accommodations. No breakfast vouchers provided either, despite the official business being done? I'm surprised at you. You are more hospitable than this. Neither of those things are m were my doing. It is the name of economy and efficiency that all these things happen. As much as it pains me to say, I am merely a passenger on this train. Do you think I am in a position to argue with the conductor? Mm. Everything is crystal clear to me now. My apologies. How many times have I told you? You will get yourself killed poking your head up and asking questions like that. Could we at least swap out gingerbread cookies for something else? Could frame it as too expensive a spice. I'll see what I can do. Oh, they did something at least. Nothing says get out like a gingerbread cookie. I thought to shove them in Ludwig's mouth, but he might have thought it was Christmas. 
What? Shame on you. Anyway, let's talk to the BB. Hello, BB. Well, it was nice seeing everyone again. Even if it wasn't much more than a few hours. Oh, is that so? Well, if the war over, I can start seeing and enjoying the best of them instead of the worst. You always think of the best of people. I guess so. It's not really worth getting upset over everything. It just makes things a little harder when you fight back against every little thing. So it's not so much kindness as it is self-preservation. Ah, that's it. Though, speaking of self-preservation... Hmm? What is it? Are you not feeling well? Oh no. You done did it, boy. Is this your fault, Colt? No wonder your skin is so pale. I should be sending you a new coat very soon. Yes, very soon. What have I done, God, to deserve this? You looked in on last I saw you. Big circles under your eyes, yes. Are you not feel sleeping well? Are you being harassed by someone? Does Papa need to kick someone's ass? Vanya, please. Are you not eating enough? Have your cards right out? I have extra. And you are welcome to them. You may have finished growing, but I know how hard they can be. Vanya, stop! Stop, stop, stop! I'm not starving. My pantry is full. My coat is fine. My car is not in repairs. My apartment isn't cold. And I have plenty of heating oil. Aha! Illness was on, not on that list. You don't need to check my temperature either, you old nag. Oh, rude. Reflex. Sorry. Don't make that face. But I worry. I know. I know you worry. You worry and you fuss. Really, you don't have to anymore. You're going gray already. That went weird. Sorry. And you aren't much older than Yvonne. When did you get that new streak, anyhow? The one framing your face. Are you going to ask about every new wrinkle, too, Melchick? No, I'm not. It is not your job to worry about me. It is my job to worry after you. By that logic, little Ana should still be worrying after me, too. But he does not. I appreciate it, I do. But I don't need you looking after me anymore. Vanya, please say something. Your science is starting to unnerve me. I might as well tell the sun not to rise, aren't I? <laughs> yes, I'll sage of you, Tver. But yeah, that came out weird. Vanya, Vanya you are a little brick wall. Better to shelter others with. Stand behind me and stones nor fire will come to harm those pretty little cheeks. You're certainly as thick as one. Oof. That was a little harsh, Malchik. It feels like you're deliver deliberately ignoring what I'm saying, Vanya. Hmm. How about the compromise? Could you maybe not drop, drop food on my doorstep anymore? I can't possibly eat a whole buck on my own. But what if the winter is harsh? That's not what is question here. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is when you do things like this at meetings? Maybe. I could understand your concern years ago, right after the war, but now? Not at all. We're not in the same position like we were back then. Tver, I want to help. It's an old habit, yes, but... Then break it! I don't need your help, Bezerov! No one needs your help. No one needs jars of food piled on their porch or furs boxed on their doorstep. Tver, if you know it was good... Well, that came on British. If you know it was... <laughs> My God. If you know it's good for you, don't say what I think you're about to say. It is in the Dark Ages, old man. No one needs your help. I helped found you, Malchik. It's natural to want to try to help. Stop trying to be my father, old man! Shit. And you said it. Good job. Let... It was out of line. M my apologies. No, you're right. You don't need my help. You have not needed my help for more than 400 years. That didn't come out how I wanted. Please, let me stop again. No need. You are exactly right, yes. I don't need to poke my nose where it is not long. But Vanya, I didn't mean it like that. I will stop. Excuse me. 
Oh, honey. Oh, baby. Oh, sweetie. Oh, oh, honey. Bye. That was harsh to bear. I didn't think he just... Oh, of course you didn't. Just apologize next time you see him. It's Vanya. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Mm, of course he will. I understand your frustration with him. No one knows better than I how difficult he could be. But he means well to there. I can move. Sweet. Oh my god. So, okay, I'm gonna stop it here for the episode because we're over time. Just... Dang. Poor Vanya. He just wants to help, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's why Brave have his eye has his eye on him. Probably. But we're gonna find out. <laughs> Tavera not might want you for a dad, but there's someone who wants you. Look out, man. Look out. But we're gonna figure out more about him later. Next time. Hell yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. So, have a good day, everybody. Bye!